Trump pulled out of Iran nuclear deal to spite Obama, suggests Kim Derrick in new leaked memo. Here's a summary of the article. Donald Trump pulled out of the Iran nuclear deal to spite his predecessor Barack Obama, the UK's former ambassador reportedly suggested in a new leaked diplomatic memo. Sir Kim Derrick claimed the US president's actions amounted to diplomatic vandalism and were fueled by personality reasons, according to a document seen by the Mail on Sunday. In a memo to Downing Street on 8 May last year, sent after Mr Johnson returned to London, Sir Kim said the Trump administration was set upon an act of diplomatic vandalism, seemingly for ideological and personality reasons. It was Obama's deal, the Mail on Sunday reported. He is said to have suggested that there were splits among Mr. Trump's closest advisers, with Mike Pompeo, the Secretary of State, distancing himself from the president's actions, and that the White House lacked a strategy on what to do following its withdrawal from the Iran deal. In a second cable sent later that day, the former ambassador reportedly wrote that following a typically hyperbolic statement on the nature of the murderous Iranian regime, Mr. Trump signed a presidential memorandum to start the process of reinstating U.S. nuclear sanctions. Sir Kim resigned from his role on Wednesday after leaked documents published a week ago by the Mail on Sunday revealed he had described Mr. Trump's administration as dysfunctional and inept. Sir Kim quit his post, saying his job had become impossible after Mr. Trump's tirade against him. This post received a score of 33,425, with an upvote ratio of 81%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. To the surprise of no one. I mean it was always obvious he had no idea what the actual DESL was, never made any suggestion of what could have been done better. Except stuff he totally misunderstood, like Obama giving Iran their own money, Iran was in compliance. Of course, now they're not. Cuz why would Iran live up to their end after the US put sanctions on them anyway? The art of the DESL. Smocking hamburgers. Beautiful accomplishment. Big Leachomlish Kovfifi Birda. In terms of birders. Even Melanie thinks so. She just thinks Iran is something women respond to what they do when her husband was around. Has all of this really happened because Obama made fun of Trump at a dinner? Sadly yes. Obama zings Trump and birthers at White House Correspondents' Dinner 2012. Wow I can almost feel the seething hate emanating out of Trump when Obama says we all know about your credentials and breadth of experience and everyone starts laughing. Just watch his beat red frozen face with his angry rocking back and forth, you know, like a totally fun guy who likes jokes would. How do you get Trump to change a light bulb? Tell him Obama put it in. If Obama cured cancer Trump would take the cure back. Somebody should tell Trump that Obama created cancer. Trump ain't gonna cure cancer no matter what Obama did. Trump can turn order into disorder, but not the other way. He would say he cured it, and anyone who subsequently died of cancer is fake news. America cured cancer. That's just Mexican cancer. White people with cancer who have never left their home state in their lives, shocked Pikachu face. Greater than Mr. Basu said the leaked emails could be a criminal matter that was not in the public interest, and that a police investigation had been launched into a potential breach of the Official Secrets Act. Veracity of the claims confirmed. We all suspected that Trump is a man-child who simply wants to undo Obama's accomplishments, but now we know. It's almost like he's exactly who he appears to be. Risk WW3 to own the libs. Basically this. Greater than. Officially my favorite. This is fine. You mean he escalated a possible nuclear arms race in the Mideast while jetting off to a photo op with Kim Jong-un simply out of hate for our first black president? The same reason he pulled us out of the Paris Climate Accord? Same reason he put DACA kids in danger? I'm starting to suspect this Trump character may be up to no good thinking face. What? Me? You know what's a worse deal than giving Iran billions of dollars as part of deal? Giving them that money anyway and then cancelling the deal right after, therefore not getting anything in return, you know what's a worse deal than Iran maybe being able to restart their nuclear program in 15 years? Iran being able to restart their nuclear program right now. He regularly called it the worst deal ever, yet he managed to make it even worse. Underscore, technically, that was actually Iran's assets frozen by the US, but that's beside the point, underscore. 
This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.